Marin County, where 20 residents were actually forced out of their homes when a mudslide came crashing into their Fairfax apartment complex. Now, it's an area that has suffered quite a bit of damage from the recent storms. Andrea Nakano caught up with one of the families that had their home red tagged because it is just too dangerous. This is an area known for beautiful trees and open space, but Fairfax and San Anselmo have been pounded by the rain. One family we talked with tonight feared that the weather would cause major damage to their home. This Fairfax family was packing up what they could after their home was red tagged on Friday. I'm still trying to grasp that this is really happening. Lovely Wine and her four kids live right where the tree and debris came slamming into their home. I got a call from my niece and um, she was terrified and screaming and said that a tree had gone through the bathroom window. According to Marin County Fire, this mudslide displaced 19 people from the six units on the property, along with seven dogs and four cats. Two of the units are red tagged and the other four are yellow tagged, but all are unsafe. We just wanted to stabilize the, the situation, um, get people out of harm's way, and then uh, ensure that people don't return to a hazardous situation. Lovely Wine did return to grab the rest of her belongings that she managed to get out of her home before firefighters left. While her family has a hotel for the night, it's what happens next that scares her the most. This is one of the biggest fears I've ever had in my life. Um, I was homeless, aging out of foster care, up until I was 27 to my firstborn and now I'm here homeless again with all four of my kids. <laughs> Wine and her family had lived at this location for the last three years. She says it's the safest place she's ever lived and is the perfect home for her children. While her future is in limbo, her first priority now is to stay strong for her children. I was just born with this natural resilience of having to be strong even when I'm weak and I just never really had a choice. I'm just trying to stay positive and, you know, um, trying to gather some resources that I'm familiar with and uh, just take it a day at a time, I guess.